What's up everybody, BioBen here, back with our weekly hot lap challenge. Remember, if you like these challenges, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'm trying to do them every week. And make sure you leave a like on this video. Spread the word. The more people we get, the more fun it is. If you want to compete, make sure you join us on Discord. The link is in the description below. Uh, all you got to do is run the lap in time trial mode and then take a screenshot of your time and post it to the Discord and I will get you added to the leaderboard. So speaking of leaderboards, last time out we were in the Ligier LMP3 at Spa Francorchamps and I really enjoyed it. I like downforce cars. It's good fun around Spa. It's a good balance of like needing the downforce but then needing the straight line speed. So you got to balance that and it's always quite intense. Uh, so good job to Alan for his fastest time. He kind of blew us out of the water on that one. But I really enjoyed that one. Hopefully, if you didn't like it, you'll like this one this week. So we're going from modern car, modern circuit, and we're going to go back in time to a vintage car at a vintage track. So I've been thinking a lot about this circuit lately, just how unique it is. So I wanted to go and hit the high banking of Monza. So we're going to run the Monza combined oval and GP track and we're going to use the classic Lotus 40 prototype with that beefy Ford engine. It sounds incredible. So this should be a fun one. So the combined circuit is a bit of a compromise, right? You have the need for straight line speed, but then also there's really kind of flat, not cambered corners. So you still want some, you know, grip in those corners. So tweaking the arrow took a bit of work. This car is a bit unruly sometimes. Um, it didn't want to turn. It was pretty stable in a straight line. So the banking was generally fine, but uh, getting it around the corners I had to rewire my brain. So if you're used to modern day Monza and you've run that a lot, the corners are slightly banked. In the old days, they were much more flat. So uh, I had to rewire my brain for a few laps, be very cautious, <laughs> very cautious on the braking, of course, especially into the chicane, um, the uh, oval section. So. You know, take a few laps, go slow, make sure you learn the track, and then you can really start to push it. And it got really intense on my hot lap. <laughs> it was like really white knuckles. So I really enjoyed this one. There weren't very many times on the leaderboard, so I was able to post the fastest time so far. Again, there's like under 10, so I'm sure it will be quite easily beaten. But go ahead and give it a go. Show me how much faster it <laughs> can be done. And yeah, here's my lap. I uh, hope you enjoy it. I had fun with this one. And of course, the setup is afterwards. Um, I didn't do a ton to the car, but I focused on the arrow. All right, I hope you'll join us for this one. Remember, join us on Discord, and I hope you have fun. Now. straight Monza combined circuit. Gotta be careful of the chicane here at the end. Early braking required. Does not like to turn through there. Sometimes you gotta give it a boot full. Tank slapper there. Down off the banking. Stay away from the left hand side. Running pretty low down for us here. Through the banking. 180 kph. Back down off onto the front straight. Should be up to the 290s here soon. 291. 292. Watch the braking here.
into the Lesmos here. there. Got it set up for speed. Not a ton of downforce on the rear. Right here. Parabolical left. Break earlier than I think I need to. Front straight. Into fourth. Bam! Whew. Well, I'm on top of the leaderboard for now. There's definitely more time to be gained, but I hope you give this one a try and enjoy it. All right, stay tuned for the setup.